Small change is about making good choices. It's about waking up. It's about taking some control in your life. A dollar. Insignificant. Except that if you would take that dollar and put it in a jar every day, you would watch it add up. That dollar in one year would become $365. In five years, almost $2,000. And in 10 years, at a little compound interest, we're talking over $5,000. If you don't remember anything else I say this morning, I'd like you to remember this. Small change adds up. And small changes you can make in your life will add up to if you would make small changes in your diet and health, in your relationships, in your work, in your creativity, in your happiness. You can watch that add up to. Do you make your bed? <laughs> I want to tell you that uh, Susan insisted on putting, making the bed in the book. She said that this was a small change that made a big difference in a, in a world in which so much is beyond our control that the thing about making the bed is that it gives you an oasis of control. It gives you something you've accomplished at least one thing that day. And, and I've come to understand this. Let's do a yoga asana this morning. Whoa, shudders have gone through. We're not going to wrap our legs behind our heads. We're going to do something that's easy and that we can all do. We're going to do something. It's called an asana. Asana is the Sanskrit word for the postures, the poses, the stretches that we do in yoga. So what we're going to do right now is something called Smile asana. So I'd like you now to take the corners of your mouth. You can use your fingers or not. You're going to bring the corners of your mouth in and up so much that I can see your teeth. So we're going to in and up. And in an asana, we hold it longer than you would want. <laughs> so I want you to keep hold, bring it up. Bring it up. Really stretch. Now get your eyes into it. Come on. It gets, Really, let's look, let's get this on. Smile, asana. And now look around at the people next to you and see how ridiculous they look. And really, come on, you look just as ridiculous. Come on. Get that smile up there a little higher. And now, let's release it. And as we release the pose, what I want you to do is I want you to feel the effects. I want you to feel that it's still there, inside. In Taoist circles, this is called the inner smile. In yoga circles, this is called the fifth chakra, the Vishuddha chakra. This is the happiness center of the body. You see, the basic teaching here is that it's not enough just to love. We have to express our love. We have to share it with someone else. And it's with the fifth chakra that we share our love and our happiness. Now I want to tell you that if you would just do this little asana, this exercise, every day, one of the best times to do it would be in your bathroom in the mirror in the morning. The person in the mirror, that's, that's your roommate. You're going to hang out with that person for the rest of your life. You might as well make friends with them. And the best way to make friends with them is to send that reflection your smile. 30 seconds to a minute of smile asana would add up to 24 hours of solid happiness every four years. That's like leap year. Of course, it doesn't, it's not all one day, but you'll have received it throughout the four years. And not only that, it spills over into the rest of your life.
the effect it has on the rest of your life, to quote MasterCard, priceless. In closing, I'd like to encourage you to cultivate awareness in your life. Cultivate amazement. Cultivate gratitude. And you will find that the health, the happiness, the wholeness, the spirit you seek will make your life significant and chosen. Thank you very much.